Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I'm in the she shop, obviously. <laughs> Obvi. Uh, this is the one day of the week that I'm not working the picket fence scouts. I shouldn't say that. So of the weekend. So I, I have to go on Sunday and remove everything from the porch. But Friday is my day. I watch my nephew in the morning. I've already done that. I'm in the shop right now. And we're uh, redoing the Chloe table. Let me show you what we've got if you don't remember the Chloe table. I have literally had this table in my inventory forever. It's been marked down several times, you can see. Uh, so it's time for Chloe to go -y. Nobody wants Chloe in their house. So we're gonna make a little change here and sand Chloe off and then hit it with some more green paint. Hopefully I have one that matches this, I think I do. So we're gonna just give her a little bit of a facelift. It's a child's table. As you can see, I'm literally, it's not even up to my knees sitting in this chair. This chair is pretty low. So, sorry, Chloe, you gotta go. So Chloe gotta go -y. She gotta go. She's been in here too long. I'm gonna put the new green on it. So remember my $3 gallon of green? That's what's going on top. And then... After I've sanded Chloe down, I'm going to put the a layer on, just one layer, because it's not the same green. I'm just going to put one layer on, and then I'm going to distress that back, because I like the distress on it. So I'm going to sand it after it dries. So we'll get that taken care of, and then I have to go find inventory to take to pick it with me tomorrow. I want to load the porch and my booth, because it is the big Carl Oscar day, Saturday, Carl Oscar days should be insane with people. It's parade day. People are looking for things to do while they're waiting for the parade to start. And we're luckily we're right there on the corner. So we are on the corner where the parade, the main drag where the parade comes down. And it's perfect because it sends people into our business and it's wonderful. I just want to make sure I have enough stuff for them. Like, I want my booth full of stuff. I would like to go through my Tupperware too. My husband has sprayed Fluffy for the bees. So the bees should be gone. And I'll be able to get in there and see if I can find the rest of the Tupperware pieces that I need to pull out. Because Tupperware has been selling, y'all. I also have an Etsy shipment too. If you watched yesterday's video, I've got two pieces of Tupperware that sold on Etsy. Thank you. May I have another? And yes, I would love to get those packed up today and get those out the door so that they're not waiting for their pieces. And then hopefully when I do all that, this will be dry and we can get this sanded down tonight and we could take this to the shop tomorrow too because I could lift up some stuff and we could, we could make a display with Chloe's old table. I do feel bad because this Chloe is beautiful with the flowers on it, but it's, there's no Chloe's. Like I, this should have sold. I even dropped the price how many times? I mean, where's that price at here? It's, it was dropped down to $15 and it's like, okay, that's problematic when you drop the table price and drop it from where it should be. It's like I couldn't even get like a DIYer to take it off my hands at $15. I am the DIYer. So time to get a little paint on her, make Chloe go away and make it more neutral. Somebody will love it and we'll move it on. We'll mark it up again and move it on. All right, let's get to work.
All right, there she is. As you can see, it's not a perfect paint job. You can still see little spots here and there. It's because we're going to distress it. It doesn't matter. As long as Chloe has disappeared and most of the top is covered. I also hit the sides a little bit and then we'll come back when this is dry and sand it down. It is dry enough to sand. So it might be a little sticky, on the, but it's okay. I want to get this in the shop tomorrow if I can. So let's get Chloe's table done. Yeah. And now it is the right kind of distressed and it just looks like it's been there forever. So bye Chloe. going in the shop. Okay, I did my Etsy shipments and now I'm gonna upholster a bench that I have in here, I'll show you. It's the be the $1 bench from up at the lake and I'm gonna use this fabric on it. I've spray painted it in gray and uh, I'm going to go out to my husband's shop. I haven't checked with him to see if it's okay, but I'm just gonna go out there and pretend it is, like it's a foregone conclusion and just hope that <laughs> It works out. <laughs> so that's the plan. He said yes. We're going to get the bench done really quick. All right. I have it up here on a board that my husband so generously put up for me in reverse. So the fabric is face out, then the batting, then the foam. And I'm leaving this on because I don't even want to know what's under there. I'm just not getting into it today. We're just going to go right over the top. And it's done. Visit my blog, PeoniLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.